year, millions of Americans benefit from medical imaging technology that improves physicians' ability to safely diagnose and treat a variety of medical conditions, including cancer. It's important to know your options, the risks, and the benefits of each imaging device. Let's see what Dr. Richard Brown of the University of Michigan's Radiology and Nuclear Medicine Department has to say about medical imaging. The purpose of medical imaging is actually changing. Uh, initially, uh, and until recently, the uh, purpose of medical imaging was detect to detect disease, to determine the extent of uh, disease, and uh, to, after the initiation of treatment, to determine if the treatment is working. In other words, is the, is the disease responding? CAT scans and MRIs are uh, used to detect disease by evaluating anatomy, changes in anatomy, changes in structure. Uh, the difference between MRI and CAT scans is CAT scans use ionizing radiation, uh, X-rays, and MRI uses a combination of magnetic fields and radio waves to generate the images. So the advantage of MRI is that it does not use ionizing radiation, uh, but both get you to the same place. At, now, the, the beauty of PET scan, and now we call it PET-CT because they're, they're uh, fused, is that PET detects disease not only by changes in anatomy but changes in function. And uh, the beauty of that is that we can detect disease earlier, uh, that we can detect response to therapy earlier, and the real beauty of that is that in the old days, when we just used PET and uh, CAT scans and MRI, we had to wait for the tumor to shrink before we could say it was responding to therapy. Now, after uh, as little as one or two treatments of chemotherapy, we can see changes in the metabolism of the tumor with PET and determine whether the disease is working or not working. And uh, I hope this is not getting too far, far off stream, but then what, what we're the future of this is that we're going to start to do adaptive therapy. So if we're giving you a, a, a new treatment and the tumor is not responding metabolically, instead of waiting two or three months, we can change that, adapt the therapy to make sure that you're getting something that's beneficial to you and uh, minimize any unnecessary toxicity. And PET also determines the, the uh, biological signature of that tumor, how, how it's uh, behaving. It's not only anatomy, we, we get both. And I, I think that's, that's the real power of PET. MRI, it tends to be better when you're looking at the spine and brain. Uh, if you're looking at the chest and portions of the abdomen, oftentimes CT is the answer. We've made a lot of strides in the past decade and actually a lot in the past few years to minimize the exposure that, that patients are getting. You know, I think that the key is, is that um, if a diagnostic test is needed uh, in order to determine therapy or manage the patient, uh, I would not be worried about it. You don't want to get any unnecessary uh, radiation. So I think it's always good to ask the physician, uh, why am I getting this test? How is it going to affect my management? And then the important thing is that since these advances are made over time, you probably want to be done on a, in a facility that's uh, as close to state-of-the-art as you can get on a modern piece of equipment. And I think it's fair to say, uh, you know, what kind of radiation am I, I, I getting, uh, am I getting um, from this? Um, even with uh, the most up-to-date piece of equipment, there's different ways you can use it, just like there's different ways you can drive a car. Um, at the University of Michigan, we pay a lot of attention to minimizing the dose as much as possible. As a matter of fact, we've done a number of pregnant patients uh, that have had uh, lymphoma. And what we uh, do in that uh, circumstance is that since PET uh, makes its diagnosis by the metabolic signature of the tumor, uh, we really only need the CT to give us a, a broad picture of the anatomy. In other words, where is that uh, 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 glucose being metabolized? So um, one of the things that we've done is markedly decrease the CT dose from the PET. So instead of giving, you know, 100, we will give 10. Uh, and, and what we also do with, with pregnant patients is we 
well, half the dose of radioactivity and double the scan time. And the pictures are absolutely uh, magnificent. The real issue is um, age. Um, in younger patients uh, that are going to be around maybe another 80 or 90 years, uh, you want to be concerned about every bit of radiation. If a patient's uh, in their 80s or, or, or 90s, um, they're probably not going to face any significant risk from the radiation, but we're always aware of it and we, we do try and minimize it. And that's one of the big pushes in the, in the radiology community to really minimize the exposure by getting the answers that we need for the uh, physicians taking care of the patient. Uh, ALARA is uh, an, acronym, an acronym that stands for as low as reasonably uh, achievable. And it actually um, is more of a term for exposure to others uh, around than, than, than the, uh, the patient. But you really don't want to expose anybody to unnecessary radiation. One of the things that's occurring now and was developed here uh, by Dr. Kaminsky and Dr. Wall is radioimmunotherapy for um, lymphomas. And uh, what we you know, do with that is, as you know, uh, the patient is given an injection of radiation, stays here for a few hours, and then uh, goes home. But that patient leaves the hospital radioactive. So uh, we have to make the patient and their family aware of how to minimize that exposure during the time that they're uh, radio radioactive. So um, Alara is more for uh, public safety than individual uh, patients. Doctors deal with medical conditions and the tools to treat them every day. Although you'll begin to pick up the medical lingo while going through treatment, don't be shy about asking questions about anything you don't understand. It's your life and your body. So don't worry that you're bothering your doctor. Part of his job is to make sure you understand and are comfortable with the recommendations.